Okay, children, so I hope you're looking forward to the primary maths challenge that's going to be taken next week. For today's lesson, we're going to be having a go at a practice paper. So in your pairs, you're going to be working hard and you're going to be working and finding out the answers to these fun and engaging questions. Are we all ready to have some fun? Yeah! Great, let's go! So I'm really excited for the maths challenge on Wednesday. The test is 25 questions and it's maths and some of it is like logic. It's a lot more like thinking questions that there's not necessarily a way to write it down like kind of logic and you have to really think about it in your head. And it's a really fun way of just testing yourself and getting into a competitive competition. We're doing some practice papers today and I feel um, nervous but quite excited. So for the practice which we're doing today it really helps you do in pairs because then you can sort of work with someone. If you get stuck the other person can explain it to you and then it will be easier in the test because you've learned a new method. It's quite important to do challenges like this as it tests your brain and it gives you a bit of a push. I forward to taking the test tomorrow because it's a really nice and fun way to have a lesson. So I've just done the primary maths challenge and it's a really fun competition. It's a competition that um, a few schools do in the UK. If you get 18 or higher, then you get sent into the next round. I was quite fast on the first couple of questions. For my, and then the last ones were a lot harder. I think one of them I spent about 20 minutes on. I'm pretty sure I did pretty well and I'm kind of, I might be able to get into the next round. Uh, I think I'm pretty pleased with myself. There were some quite hard questions actually, um, like... Digits of the year 2022 total six. How many years will it be until this happens again? And I got D, which was nine, because in nine years it would be 2031. And if you add two, three and one together, they make six. This type of competition helps them uh, prepare for the senior school. Well, one, it's really good fun for the children. Secondly, it allows the children to stretch themselves and to think logically and mathematically beyond the box. They're challenged more and more academically uh, the further up the school they go.